We continue the generator here. Another tool is connect. This tool used for connect 3D object together. For example, I have a two plane here. Uh, it does not matter if they are editable or parametric. For example, they have a distance from each other here. As you can see, we have two points here. And if you click and drag both of them under the connect, the connect will connect them. But in the sitting, you have to uh, specify the tolerance range for connecting here. 0 0.1 centimeter means it connects the points in this range and less. Going to the this view and uh, for example zoom that here, <clears throat> as you can see uh, 0 0.5 centimeter of each block is the distance and for example if you want to to this point to weld to weld to each other you have to increase uh, increase this number for example mm, one centimeter or more five centimeter as you can see it connect together so you have to increase the range of the tolerance for connecting object together as you can see if this object connected they are <clears throat> And now there are one object together. You can see there are one object together, but you can change the parameter also. And for example, if you want to connect more than two objects, for example, I make a copy of that object and making distance from this distance, you can simply click and drag all of them and right click and group them and you can simply direct the group on the connect and as you can see it's connect to each other you can see simply click. or if you do not want to <clears throat> click and drag under the connect for example you have a lot of object here the connect is above them sorry the connect is here and you just want to uh, link the connect to this object you can simply uh, in a it's prop, in, in sitting use the objects simply use this eyedropper select this object or click and drag the object and release here and the connect will be do as you can see it connects object so you can apply the connect object two ways okay another thing about the connect is object a and object b which one is object a and which one is object <clears throat> b for specify that i give a different texture to the plane this color and this color for example this plane this color and this color <clears throat> and click and drag both of them under the connect and here as we can see the green object goes to the red one and connect to this so the object a that's in a higher hierarchy move to the below object if you want to red object move and connect to the green one replace them here activate it as you can see the green one goes and the red one and <coughs> connect it okay another option of the connect uh, is uh, create center axis as you can see this axis is here another axis of the object is here the connect axis is here or anywhere that you want you can move it you can simply center axis it and go in the center of the object for better understand and texture for example we give a checkerboard texture on a connect in a cinema 4d if you have a um, assign a texture to the parent object all of the child object assign that uh, texture too but in this uh, <coughs> comment if this uh, option will be tick it does not do like that if you untick that and now you can assign the texture at the parent to the all child object and this texture will be gone 
So if you want to not like that, tick texture and all child object maintain its their texture, keep their check texture. It's useful in some cases. Uh, another useful of usage of, or benefit of the connect is for clone. I will be teach you the clone, the most important thing in Cinema 4D. But given in a small example here, I <clears throat> insert the plane and make the segment two and two. And for example, I going to make this editable and do a little work on it. For example. Mm, going to the uh, surface modes, control A to select and in set. I uh, preset group and hold control. I want to just do a little things here. Don't worry, I will teach you all of these settings then. And um, going to the model mode and I want to bring it over clone. A clone clone this object to us. It's simple. Going to the uh, option of the cloner uh, here in a uh, transform. Sorry, in the object. I want to change the mode to the linear to change it to the linear in the position Y. I want to change the linear in position Z, for example. It's not different. And I want to clone that in any number that you want, for example, three or four. As you can see, this option is uh, very important to stick all of these objects together. You can connect them together. For accurate work, as you can see, when you click on this plane and click on a coordination manager, you can see the size of the object in the Z axis is 400. So it's simply go to the cloner and change the Z axis to 400 and they stick to it. There. But if you make editable the cloner, as you can see, when you go into the point mode and going uh, here, you can see all of these plane are separate. Going Control Z, and in this case, we can come connect and simply click and drag cloner under the connect, and then after you after you do okay this because of the point are exactly at the same position this tolerance is nice and you can make editable then and you can see we have a simple object that all of this point are connected to each other and we have a single object this is one of the other benefit of the connect object okay that's it and you can use it Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.